walker. <laughs> You need a walker? No. Oh, <laughs> I like to walk around and Those I end up being. That's right. <clears throat> Have you ever wondered why you Have you ever been involved in a rear end collision? I know I have. I found it stressful and uncomfortable. And chances are, if you're over 50, you've already experienced a rear end collision. If you have not, I advise you to pay attention because what I'm going to talk about can be a matter of life and death. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the rear end collision I'm talking about is <laughs> called a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> Today I will tell you why you need one, what it's used for, and what your experience will be like. Do you need a prop? <laughs> <laughs> a colonoscopy is a rear end collision when a physician called a gastroenterologist takes a four foot scope the size of your finger, inserts it in your anus, and views your rectum and large intestine. Fun, huh? More than that. Are you excited? More than that. If they find a pilot, it can That's come next, out. next speech. <laughs> <laughs> now, we all know the number one leading cause of, of, of cancer related deaths in the United States is lung cancer. And everybody's heard about number three the people that wear pink breast cancer. But nobody's talking about number two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. One in 19 people will get colon cancer in their life. One in 19. There's 14 in the room. It's a great possibility that one of us could get colon cancer in our life. That is why colonoscopies are so important. Colonoscopies are a tool used to diagnose colon cancer. When would you need a colonoscopy? If you have any bleeding in your rectum. If you have abdominal pain, if you have chronic diarrhea, recent weight loss, a family history of colon cancer. If you're over 50, it is strongly recommended that you get checked out. Talk to your primary physician if you have any of these symptoms. Now, if you've experienced the joy of a colonoscopy, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I personally have had three. <laughs> I am a frequent flyer. <laughs> Not only have I had three colonoscopies, I have a strong family history of colon cancer in my family. I also was a colonoscopy nurse. I have seen places on people nobody has seen before. But I'm here to help you. I want to make this experience as wonderful as it can be. And I'm going to tell you how you need to listen to your physician. When you are told you need a colonoscopy, first thing, follow directions. He's going to give you something called a prep. You've heard the nightmares. Colonoscopies are terrible. <gasps> I was chained to the bathroom for two days. It's true. It's going to happen. <laughs> Accept it and move on. The prep is taken. It's a liquid by mouth to clean you out. It's got to come out because the doctor can't see if he goes in and it's dirty. Newsflash, <laughs> if you don't take all the prep, he's going to make you do it again. So why torture yourself? Drink it, follow directions. Once you do the prep, you'll be asked to go to the facility, either an outpatient surgery center or a hospital. You'll be taken into a private room where a TV monitor is there. The physician and nurse will be there. You'll be placed on your left side. You'll be given something to make you comfortable. The doctor will take the scope with a little camera attached and insert it and view your large intestine all the way to the beginning to the cecum and withdraw it. It's quick and easy. It's 20 minutes. That's it. The hard part is the prep. I am here to tell you, 
colon cancer is not for the elderly. I have personally witnessed a mother of two in her 30s diagnosed with colon cancer having a change in bowel habits. Pay attention. Let's talk about it. Let's start a movement. <laughs> Nobody's talking about colon cancer. Thanksgiving dinner, Friday night with friends, water cooler. Talk about it. If you know any friends or family who are experiencing any of the symptoms I talked about, encourage them to see their family physician. We know people wear pink ribbons. Let's wear brown. <laughs> you can make a difference. We can make a change. Talk about it. Go brown. <laughs>